Hello Horde and welcome to Attack of the B Team with John. Today we're going to uh, carry on from where we left off uh, all those many months ago. Uh, if you can remember like 11 months ago, um, I started talking about Witcher on this uh, mod pack. Unfortunately the mod itself broke my world that I was on so it's uh, uh, so that world actually got destroyed. Uh, that's the reason why those videos kind of stopped bluntly, uh, but lately I've been trying to like carry on with um, series uh, that just dropped off and were forgotten about. Uh, so you'll see a lot of stuff on my channel that are carrying on from um, so many like years ago. Uh, but yeah, we'll carry on from where we left off. So today I'm going to be talking about the kettle in witchery. Uh, before I did three, pretty, I think I did three episodes roughly. Um, before this mod pack actually broke, so I didn't get through very much. And I've already talked about the general um, plants and uh, like seeds you can collect from mandrakes to um, things, so the basic seeds, basic herbology. I've talked about the kettle, uh, not the kettle, um, the oven, which is how you burn saplings into um, different into different vases so basically like powders and perfumes type stuff and I've also talked about the distillery which is where you put some uh, two items in and you create more advanced um, bottles so today like I said we're going to be doing the uh, kettle so first we're going to make the kettle so I'm just gonna run into the house because it's only, it's only here so it's not very far um, so the kettle is a quite an easy thing to make uh, the only thing that you, you're going to need a cauldron, which is basically just a U-shape of iron. You're going to also need an, a tuned stone, which I'm going to show you because obviously you won't have remembered from like, a, I think like 11 months ago in my last episode in this. You're going to need a whiff of magic, which is basically, you get this from putting jars, so cooked jars, um, they are uh, in here. Uh, so clay jars, uh, in the witch's oven with... Um, Rowan saplings gets you whiff of magic so that is how you make that and you also need a diamond and a lava in this recipe so basically how it works is um, you need your cauldron at the bottom then I think it was a tune stone was it a tune stone stick stick string hopefully it was that Th string 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 nope oh god what the hell was this recipe now oh god uh I'll get it eventually. There we go. So it's sticks in the top left and right corner, string in the center top uh, slot. Then in the actual center is the attune stone, which you obviously make with the whiff of magic, which you've done from burning uh, rowing saplings in the ke in the oven. And then you need string to the left of it, string to the right of the attune stone, and then at the bottom center, put the cauldron, makes your kettle. Now the kettle, the kettle, uh, how it works is um, you basically need to put it under a fire source. Uh, so for those of you who are actually new to Minecraft, uh, you're going to need a flint and steel. And your best way to do this is obviously with some never rack because it never stops burning. So you want to get some never rack. You want to set a fire. I'll put this back in there so I don't accidentally burn anything else. And then you want to put your kettle above it. So. There we go. So I've just put a stone here so that it looks cosmetically better. There we go. So here you go. So the kettle goes above a fire source. Now what you do is you have to bucket some water up. Uh, so how these how the kettle works. Um, so this video is going to be on basic how the kettle basically works. I'm not actually going to go into any recipes um, as of today. Uh, like uh, as I was in this episode, but I'll explain the basics of the kettle. So basically how it works is you need to book it up a water So you need to probably a well like this next to it And then you're gonna have to click it in there It'll fill with water and then what you do is you throw the items that you need for the recipe So the next thing you're gonna make is obviously the um, kettle um, Book so witchery is a very good mod because it actually comes with books to help you now you're gonna need a uh, odor of purity and if I remember now uh, it is half on saplings that are burned uh, to get these actual witchery saplings just in case you forgot uh, you need to use um, mutandis which is a recipe on its own um, on like uh, vanilla plants so basically you put your book in the center to the left of it uh, to the right of it sorry 
uh, put a feather. Um, to the uh, left of it, put an ink sack. To the top, put a belladonna flower. And to the bottom, put odor of purity. Get your witch's brew, uh, brew, brew, uh, brews and infusions. Now, this book will go through all the different brews you can make. Um, so, you, you can actually get started uh, without even needing this um, video. Uh, so, what I'm going to be going in future is I'm going, to, I'm going to be going through this book, telling you how to get the ingredients. I'm uh, going through and um, going through actually the effects of each brew. Uh, but today, I'm just going to show you how to get the ingredients. So now that you've got the witches, um, uh, now you've actually got the kettle. You know how to use a kettle. You stick water in it using a bucket, or I think you can even use jar, um, like glass bottles. Um, you basically have the recipes here in the brews and infusion books. So basically, you go through this, and how it works is you stick some water in. Put it over a fire sauce like I have, and then you throw the necessary ingredients in. Then uh, it'll start brewing, it'll t start bubbling and turn a certain colour. Then you get glass uh, bottles from Vanilla Minecraft, and you can get, I think it's up to three um, bottles out of it. Now, some of these ingredients you're going to think, how do I get? Because vines are quite easy, and but so are brown mushrooms, red mu mushrooms, but stuff like tongue, tongue of dog uh, and uh, wool of bat. You won't know how to get. So how you get this is you bet you want to make um, a special like witchery item. Now I can't remember the exact name of it, but basically what it does is it's like a little dagger. It's like a sacrificial dagger, and when you try and ki when you kill a mob with it, uh, such as a bat, you have a higher chance of getting wool of bat. Uh, when you kill um, a wolf or a dog, whichever you want to call it, um, you have a higher chance of getting. Um, uh, the tongue of the dog. Same with creepers, because you also want creeper hearts uh, for some recipes. You have a higher chance of getting a creeper heart. So how you make uh, the afana? Af I'm going to call it afana. Afana, yeah. Af how you make the afana is you want a stick at the bottom center. In the exact center of the crafting table, put an emerald. To the left and right of that, you need a gold nugget. And then to the top of that, you want a golden ingot. Make sure afana. Uh, I probably pronounced that wrong. Afana. Um, so how it works, it basically it's a pretty weak sword. Uh, you need to find a bat. You'll find them in caves, um, and then you just need to just kill it. And it just it just increases the drop rate because these two items here are very hard to obtain. Um, some of the items in witchery are very difficult to obtain. Uh, these are actually two of them. You can also obtain creeper hearts from killing creepers. I think it's like a one in a hundred drop, something like that. So you need to kill a lot of creepers. I think it's like one in thirty or something with the afana. Uh, wool of bat were actually quite easy to obtain eventually I killed about 10 bats but obviously it's just finding the bats the wolves are usually in packs so uh, if you can find a pack of wolves in like a forest then the tongue of dog can also be easy especially with the afana because it increases the chance rate the drop rate basically now that's actually it for this episode this is just the basics of um, the kettle how you set it up uh, how you set it up and how brews work so basically I'm gonna go through it really quickly you set the kettle up like this uh, like with fire underneath um, and the kettle above it then you need to put water in it so use either bucket it or put uh, either bucket the water into it or uh, obviously use water uh, glasses to fill the um, kettle up then you want to look through the brew to see which one you want and you want to collect the ingredients um, with the afana the ones that you can't actually get so basically, you know, uh, your tongues of dog, um, your wool of bat, and I think there's some other ones that like uh, are a bit dif more difficult to obtain. Uh, the, some of the wit, obviously, uh, for those of you who can't remember, because it has been literally months, uh, some of like the Rika Mr. Fortune stuff like that, you can actually make from burning flowers or using the uh, distillery. Uh, but when I'm actually showing you the brews later in the future, I will go through at each step. So although this has been very brief, in the future when I'm going through uh, each um, brew individually in a different episode, I'll go through in detail how you make it, how you obtain the items, and the effects and the benefits of it. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, I know I haven't made one of these videos literally for about a year now. Uh, this is because um, when I moved to uni, um, not only um, do I not have as much time to make videos, uh, but um, obviously I've got work to do and stuff like that and obviously socializing and drinking 
takes up a large chunk of your university time as well as the work, sel- work itself. Plus, this mod pack actually broke, unfortunately, um, back when I started making it, which when it first came out, which is the reason why these videos stopped ages ago. But obviously, I've come back, I've built a new world, uh, I've built, like, I'm starting, like, it's not a new, like, a 100% new series, but basically it's like a witchery series where there's, like, witches huts around the place, and they'll, I'll explain how you go through. Uh, in the future, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to be going through all these brews. I'm also going to be, obviously, co- covering Dinocraft. Um, I'm going to be co- covering Necromancy. And I'm also going to be covering the more advanced herbology, which I nev- didn't cover in the uh, first few episodes. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit like and favorite if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Um, I'm trying to start my channel back up and get the all the content back on and uh, regular. So each, uh, hopefully, each week you're gonna see more content. It's gonna start off like with just like Mondays, maybe with like some odd um, big dig stuff, and then Wednesday, uh, Wednesdays with some odd um, attack of the B team stuff. But eventually, it should start. It should set up to like a full week. Uh, hopefully, that's the plan. Uh, but yeah, uh, hit like a favorite if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And please comment on how you if this actually been helpful. Oh, I should probably stop walking around because I'm gonna make you dizzy. Uh, yeah, please comment. Uh, the comments actually help me a lot more than the likes and favorites and subscribes. Um, I do benefit them from the, the you input a lot more from it. And like, see uh, if you're struggling with. Uh, definitely ask for any help. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.